Today is the day that we do the makeup trial. Now, most people do their makeup trial before, like five days before, but because I'm having a destination wedding, I was not able to come down here early enough to do the trial any earlier than this. Today I will find out if I like the hair and makeup and I'll go through all of my tips on how to actually get what you want. I need to take my makeup off. I'll go through that process with you. And then quick tip on your hair. It has been three days since I washed my hair last. I, I think I'll try to do a two day before because it's a little bit grimier than what I would actually want it to be. But I will not be washing my hair the night before or the day of the wedding. I want it to have like that little bit of oil, that grit that will allow a curl to stay and stay all day. When it comes to taking my makeup off, I love any type of cleansing balm. This is the Elemis cleansing balm. Uh, in order to get my eye makeup off. I just rub it all over. To be honest, I'm not a fan of products where you have to put your finger in the product in order to use it. It's really just not my thing. It's nice that this Elemis makes a travel size. The one that I really like is by a different brand, but they don't have a travel size in a tube. This just makes it so that you're able to easily get all of your mascara, anything that's heavier. Many people use cleansing balms in order to actually wash their face. My face does not respond well at all to the cleansing balm on my skin, but I love it as an eye makeup remover. Eye makeup removers are challenging. I have very sensitive eyes. Like you can see how quickly my eyes get red. My eyes get red like this no matter what I use, but the cleansing balm is the least red for the least amount of time. So first cleansing balm. Second, I'm going to go in with one of my favorite cleansers. I just get my face wet ahead of time. I don't like putting cleanser directly on my dry skin. Normally I go through this process at night. And at night, every other day I'm gonna use some sort of exfoliator before just going in directly with the cleanser in order to get rid of the buildup, you know, to make the product for the next day look gorgeous. So I'm just gonna do a quick wash, make sure my skin is nice and clean, and then we'll get into the deep puffing stuff. I will do eye patches in order to reduce puffiness. Right now, I'm going to try to do a little bit of drainage. Drainage, you're like, what the frick is she talking about with this drainage? Well, let me tell you. Okay, so my skin is clean now. See how red my eyes get? It'll go down, don't worry. Uh, but in the refrigerator, I have put one of my newest favorite skincare products. The Skinny Confidential Hot Mess Ice Roller. So I'm going to use this. I love it from the fridge because it's nice and cold. We don't have a freezer in this room, but I love putting it in the freezer. Ice rolling helps so much and I will be pretty bloated. I already know I'll be bloated on the day of the wedding because there's partying going on and I'm not gonna sacrifice the party for the skin. I will be drinking, I will be eating salty foods, I'll be doing all the things that create bloat, and so I will just roll my face. I'll do it a little longer then uh, in order to get all of that puffiness. Notice I'm not going like this. You don't go down, you go up so that it drains here, and then from here, you want it to drain up in that area. So it's up, 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 up to get all the fluid out, but then right here, you can go up to make it drain there. Everywhere else is, you know, up. I'm no expert with this. It feels amazing. That's number one. This is a solid product. I've used other ice rollers. The one on Amazon for like $10. This one's 60, but the Amazon roller has nothing on this roller. All right, next up, I'm going in with the tiniest amount of moisturizer, not too much because I'm gonna put a primer on. I'm a big fan 
the primers, but you know, you gotta just get your skin ready for what's about to happen to it, which is a lot of makeup before I get mine done. SPF is important. This Super Goop Matte Screen is a 40 SPF. It does have a little bit of color to it. I don't mind that. I'm gonna do it all of the important parts of my face. So when it comes to your wedding makeup, what do you want? That is the main and most important question. I have found so many inspiration photos that just make it easy for me to say, hey, this is what I'm looking for. Give them an actual photo. In an ideal scene, you're giving them a photo of a look that you've had before so that it's not one, one big mistake whenever I talk to makeup artists is somebody will give them like this like bejeweled look that looks like it would take four hours and they want it done in 30 minutes. I'm not trying to look like some supermodel. I'm not trying to look like somebody else. I'm trying to look like me and to enhance my features, to enhance my eyes, to make my skin look matte. I'm a big matte person. I don't like the dewy look, but I'm giving a photo of me. Like, hey, I've had my makeup look like this before. I really liked it. Can you recreate this? She's going to be coming any minute. I'm gonna clean up the room just a little bit. And then we're gonna get this thing started. All right, we are well on our way into getting this hair and makeup trial rolling. What we were just talking about, you know, what difficult brides can do accidentally, it's not on purpose, but accidentally to make it difficult for a makeup trial. What makes it difficult when somebody doesn't, do, doesn't do something or does do something? How to prepare your skin mm. to get ready, have the skin prepared, drink a lot of water. Okay. Moisturizing. Moisturizing, being okay. Being out of the sun. Out of, no sun. Mm, yeah, okay. very important because no Cabo sun. has like super hot weather and the sun is very strong so like that can that be you know damage your skin and you can get red do people ever show up with like a lot of makeup on already no, no. that's never no. happened no. okay <laughs> I mean, what no. kind of crazy yeah I'm mistakes <laughs> people might make what about hair they show up with for example they just got a massage and then oh they... <laughs> i did just get a massage <laughs> but i told them not to massage my head are they exactly so no oil no oil nice. on the hair okay. yeah <laughs> So or funny. if you've been by the pool uh -huh. and then have like no shower and have like the pool, you know, like mm. the hair doesn't. Like. Mm. How helpful is it to have photos? Is photos really helpful? Yeah, photos okay. are very helpful. So finding for the photos. Finding the inspiration mm -hmm. so we understand what is your style, mm -hmm. how you, what is the look that you would like to achieve. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's that's very important. Do, do people and, ever send crazy photos? Yeah. All the time. <laughs> She's like, yes, so don't do that. So what should people say when they don't want a natural look, but they want like what I want? Like what's the right terminology? Yeah. Well, I've been using these terms also on my Instagram. Like mm. do when I do a, a soft glam, uh -huh. which is someone that doesn't wear makeup every day. Soft makeup, glam, soft okay. Glam doesn't wear makeup when they, she goes to an event she just do like a BB cream and mascara okay. that and is not me blush. that is not me at all <laughs> that would be soft glam soft glam okay then we have the medium glam which is mm. someone that use makeup every day okay for events yeah she do, do wear eyeshadows and uh -huh. uh, can do can wear a uh, fab lashes uh-huh uh -huh. okay that's medium glam that's and medium. full glam and full glam is someone that like the that, whole thing the whole thing like, am yeah. i full glam or yes. medium glam no, i'm full, full glam, glam. Yeah. full glam look at full how glam. this is looking already yeah full glam with like full coverage lashes full coverage lashes and you want the dark in the corners yes i want you the know, dark no, Okay, I'm gonna yeah, let her get back to, to doing this or else I could ask these questions for days and days and days, <laughs> but we'll, we'll keep you coming along through the process. We are halfway through and um, you just trust the process. You can't look, I'm really, I'm not supposed to have this and I'm probably not supposed to have the camera either because this is all gonna work itself out. But I think men sometimes get freaked out when they walk in at this part of the process. <laughs> I mean, look at the eyes. I cannot even get over how beautiful the eyes are gonna be. Just, just you wait, just you wait. The final product, I mean, 
It's everything that I wanted. I was honestly hoping that it was not going to be what I wanted so I could give some advice around how you have a hard conversation when you're unhappy, but I am so happy. One thing I did state, I want the curls to start higher. The curl starts a little bit too low for me, so that'll get fixed for wedding day, but you know, it's gonna be date night tonight and I'm thrilled. I'm totally thrilled. One thing that I did do is actually give her the products that I use and that I love so that she could get like the colors. Like I love the pink with the brown and instead of her getting her own colors or him, whoever you're using, using their own colors, I think actually giving them examples of what you have and what you like. Cause brown, like this is also a shade of brown, but this is a cooler shade. And so, unless you really know the nomenclature, which I do not, I'm busy running a business and leading teens every day. I don't know everything about soft glam, medium glam, full glam, but really like examples, photos, and then actual makeup that you have makes all the freaking difference. Leave a comment below. What is your favorite go-to makeup product? one that you would ideally wear on your wedding day. Don't forget to subscribe, click the little button right there. There's a subscribe, but then there's also the bell so that you get notified when these videos are happening. We're just getting started with wedding content over here. So I will see you.